Welcome back to the podcast. Today, we're going to chat shit. Is that going to ruin the views if I say chat shit no, in the first no, minute? We say we're going to chat shit about AI because um, it's something that's rapidly becoming a hot topic. And I want to do it before anyone else does it. So then no one can say that we stole their content because realistically, everyone's going to talk about this. And everyone's going to be like, yeah, everyone is that everyone's like, hey, on it took no, the content they? that I said. And realistically, it's just a talking point. So most people are going to talk about it. Yeah. But ours is first. We're on it. We're on it. There's even a YouTube video. Already. already on it we've all we've actually got a little series coming out on the youtube channel about there's only one other person i know that's done a lot of stuff in ai already and he's very much self-aware to the fact that people he is the man when it comes to talking about things that are relevant in these industries alex samosi is that what you're on about no i was on about suck oh right yeah no yeah, yeah <laughs> no well alex samosi has been talking i think about suck got it out oh has it yeah he? yeah alex samosi was talking in fact i know i did a post before suck to be fair did you yeah yeah Get the screenshot. Yeah, I got no. I did. I, I did. I did the happen. one first. Then he did one. Did you? Uh, Have you sent it to everyone's him? Everyone's on it. No, everyone's Have you sent on it. Send it to him. Send it to him. On no, it send it to him. Be like, bro, come on. Where's my credit? <laughs> right. Seriously. Right. If you're a PT and you don't know what we're talking about, um, Chat GPT is essentially what what you would probably know as like an an AI bot, yeah. like the kind of thing that when you go on Argos and you're like, my Argos man didn't deliver my table today, and I had. I was going to say I had my tools out, but I wouldn't. I had my old man there with his <laughs> tools out ready to build it and it didn't turn up. Argos, where the fuck's my table? The bot that you speak to that goes, hi, how can I help you today? And then pretends it's typing yeah. when you know it's not because you know it's a bot. Um, that kind of system, but imagine like you sent that bot to Oxford <laughs> <laughs> and he did a fucking PhD in... Everything. Research and everything. Everything. <laughs> and everything that is on the internet yeah. over the past maybe five years, yeah. up to 2021, okay? And you gave it great customer service and linguistics training. That is now what ChatGPT is. It's the little as the bot on steroids. Yeah, it's... Imagine, yeah, ima the, the best way I could describe it is, imagine if Google and Siri had a baby and that baby almost got superpowers. That's how powerful i was gonna say it's, it's like siri with a brain yeah that's uh, that's how powerful it's like siri and ask jeeves yeah that's how powerful this it's what ask is. jeeves should have been yeah 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 it, yeah exactly. if they did ask jeeves right instead yeah, of pretending yeah. it was a search engine that could yeah. answer questions and obviously when ask jeeves was there the technology wasn't there but yeah that's that's pre a pretty good yeah. uh, description of what it is to be fair when ask jeeves was there people were still doing internet that had dial up that went yeah, burr, yeah. Burr, burr, burr. I actually saw a meme on on when you the couldn't Ash use G's your phone page. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And your mum's like, "Are you on the internet again? <laughs> <laughs> I can't ring you, Nan." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm there on Bugdom or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember Bugdom? No, what was that? And to be fair, I never had an Apple Mac because we weren't that rich. No, what was um, Bugdom? Bugdom was like the game that came installed on a Mac. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was no, like I the little remember. bug thing. Yeah, Basically, we used to play when, it at school. When we were in we primary school, MacBook. you have one yeah, Mac, yeah, 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 and everyone used to get a turn yeah, on it yeah, on a Friday yeah. for yeah. like 10 everyone minutes. Play, yeah, get on that. Yeah, and it would be that. the... Right, you're done now. Uh, I got the bug to there, mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> what came with um, What came with Windows at that point? PJ Tour. Um, and I had PJ Tour on my first computer. I had a compact. No, the card game. Solitaire. Solitaire. We had Magic Carpet, which never loaded for some reason, um, which is just like a carpet that flew around, <laughs> or, um, or or PJ Tour. Funny really? Enough, I know. I love PJ Tour. It's what I play we do now. Xbox now. I, yeah. I need now, to get back into now I've it. Got, now middle age. I'm sure going to roast PGA me all Tour. summer again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually got Kite Passable as well, which is annoying. Yeah, well. we're getting we're getting back on that because we've got some Dubai trips coming up Dubai. to play golf, business yeah. business and golf trips. Is that, is that what people do in Dubai? Yeah, that's what they do. Oh, I thought it was pool parties. No, it? it's not pool parties at our age. It is now business what trips. What our go, age? Well, we're not that far off. Are we? five, <laughs> five years, five or six years. Don't throw me in your bucket. <laughs> You've got a child now. I'll go to the pool parties. <laughs> I'll go play and play golf. golf then when we go Dubai. Right, we, we've, we've got sidetracked here a little bit. So let's get back onto, back onto the air. I've got a couple of questions for you because me and Steve have been in rabbit holes I would say over the Simon's past. been in a rabbit hole. I've gave what little ADHD right, attention. Right. Okay. So I have to I've it. been in rabbit holes and then been feeding my information back to Steve at four in then... the morning <laughs> when he's up with the baby. We yeah. wake up to like random shit about fucking Jack ET on my phone every day. Yeah. So I, I appreciate the amount of effort you put yeah, into. Yeah. No. It. So so but so so we both got you know because we, we have to be we, you know we we need to be on top of new developments that are going to affect our clients right. 
And we feel like this is something that's going to be an absolute game changer for uh, for coaches. Yes, right? I agree. So let me ask you this. So what 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 do you think it's going to, what, what effect do you think it's going to have on online businesses? Because bear in mind, if you've watched the, um, the big, uh, we did a video, didn't we? The mm -hmm. biggest, ch the big changes in 2023 in fitness business. We didn't call it. Did we not? No. Did we miss it? We didn't didn't call oh, it. Oh, that whole video is ruined. Now. Yeah, we didn't call if it. If we'd have nailed that point one, no, I'd have been sat here it. like because because it's not job done you know, for twenty twenty three. You know, it's not uh, the, the first I heard of it was um, Alex Homozy and um, oh, what's his what's his name? What's the guy called? Uh, New York Jets fan. Fucking hell. Gary V. Gary V. Uh, Gary V and Alex Homozy uh, started talking about it. So yeah, but Gary V throws that much shit at no, the wall. No, no, Some of it's going to stick. Yeah, and, Everything. Yeah, he was talking about You got the these fucking yeah, coins, yeah. bro? Yeah, you yeah, seen yeah, these yeah. new coins? No, so, so, but uh, to be honest with you, if Alex Homozy talks about it, I'm like, right, I'm going to listen now. So he... he it's like Jesus. Isn't it? Yeah, he, when they started talking about it, we, you know, we started researching. So what do you think, how do you think it's going to affect online fitness businesses this year? Right. In in the initial term. I'm talking like, like now, right like now, chat GPT uh, yeah. in its current in its, form. In its current form right now. So Good, because this that could be a fucking long question. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. I'm talking whatever. about how the software works now. What what difference is it going to make? More than term? likely content production and content repurposing. I think is probably market research, content production and kind of content expansion. Yeah. If that if that is a word. Yeah. It is a word, but like if it's a So what you're saying term, is incre uh, the, the in increasing the increasing yeah. yeah, the amount of content you can do and actually maybe bringing websites back into play for yeah, people. Yeah, good shout. Good shout, um, definitely. For blogs and making it easier to start email lists, I would say as well. Yeah. So let, and, yeah, and like le like we did lead magnets, didn't yeah, we, yeah, on yeah. the video? Yeah. So we'll explain we'll explain on the podcast how it works, but we've got tutorials on the YouTube channel of everything that we're talking about here. But let's just explain let's explain what we did the other day in terms of the lead magnet. What we what we did. Yeah. So, I mean, what you you can go from first principles really. So you can research your target demographic, come up with their main things that hold them back from losing weight. Now, the good thing about ChatGPT is as far as I'm aware, it's sophisticated enough to sift through correct and incorrect information. As far as I know, yeah. from what I've seen, it's trained on texts that have been verified. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's, no, no. You're it, always, it, yeah. you're always going to need to check it. Yeah, it goes um, up until 2022, yeah. the start of 2022. I'd say it's, it's it's accurate. Yeah, From it's when accurate. I've used it, it's it's pretty accurate. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is, and again, real market research will always probably be better. Yeah. Well, probably it always will be better. Like, but it takes time. So you you're knocking off like maybe ten percent effectiveness for a hundred percent increase in mm -hmm. speed, and and that's what it'll do. It'll speed up processes. So you can so you should know this anyway, right? But if you're struggling for ideas, what are the three biggest concerns of my target demographic? You type it out, losing weight. You pick one of those things. Can you write me this? Can you turn it into a format of an ebook? You take that, put it on a PDF. You've got a lead magnet yeah. straight away. We did now, it with some recipes, didn't we? For yeah. Now that in principle could normally take up to a week. Mate, I remember when I used to do lead magnets in my fitness business, it'd take from planning to writing it out, to sending it to the graphic designer, to getting it back, redoing some stuff. It's like, a, it was like a three week process. Okay. I, I remember this, all right? I wrote, when when I had my fitness business, our big lead magnet was a fat loss Bible. Um, and I think five hours of pure writing. Yeah. I remember, because I drank a shitload of Monster, and I did it on a five-hour flight to Turkey. That's how I know, because the flight was five hours. Okay, so it took me five hours. Yeah. You could literally do that yeah. in five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, proofread, a little bit of an edit done. Yeah, Easy. You, could do it, you could do it in five minutes, genuinely. Yeah. So, you know, there's, and obviously the only reason why we didn't have loads of lead magnets is because realistically me carving out five hours no, to write every can't. day would be ridiculous. So it's, it's going to make it easier to do yeah. more 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 lead magnets and more resources for your clients because they're intertwined right whatever's a lead magnet could potentially be a resource for your client yeah so especially written so like written value is now much easier yeah now you can't do this just yet 
but as soon as it can learn your voice, yeah. that will go a hundred times better. Yeah. You could write, you could input all the content that you've ever done into it. Yeah. And it would recognize yeah. your, it's your not, language. Not there, not it's not there, there yet, yet, but, but I be, don't yeah. think actually that's far no, no, off. No. I think if you listen to this In video. Fact, I, I, think they pro I think they probably will be able I to do that. I think they probably are doing yeah. it. I just yeah. don't think it's live. Yeah. I think somebody somewhere has programmed it yeah, to do yeah. so. Yeah, you would have profiles on well, it. Well, you can yeah. ask it to write in the tone of people who are well known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It can already, so if somebody's got... If somebody's got a lot of text on the internet yeah, yeah. that it's studied from, so yeah. was around before 2021, has put all that stuff out. You can actually ask it to write it. So if you know like a, a well-known copywriter or a well-known marker, yeah, say mad. Frank Kern, yeah. for example. Um, if you don't know who that is, you might not. He's, he's more like real internet marketing, like down the rabbit hole yeah. rather than like PT stuff. But I reckon, and I haven't tried this, but I reckon it would work. If you could put, write this in the style of Frank Kern, yeah. you can actually ask it to write. I was telling... Um, Jacob, our podcast editor before, you can write in the style of direct response copy. Yeah. So you can pick writing styles. Eventually you will be able to pick your own writing style yeah, and then yeah. your content will be yeah, fucking yeah. stupid. Um, stupid. Yeah, yeah. so so we, we did something really interesting the other day with, uh, with one of your videos, right? So we did a short form video that was on um, YouTube shorts. And if you upload anything to YouTube, you can download the transcripts. Um, from the video, right? So I took off a transcript of the, a Jan we were talking about how to build a January offer, right? So I took, took off this transcript. So every word that Steve said in this, like, I think it was like a, a, a one minute video, right? So I put it into chat GPT and then asked it, can you turn this transcript of the video into an email? right? And it wrote out this email in the space of like two minutes, right? In the voice, because it's it's gone off the transcript. So it's wrote out the email in the style of your voice. You, you sound like me. If you do, if you, if you, if you input your wording into the video, this is probably what I would say for coaches is going to be the biggest thing, right? Because yeah, doing some market research on, on your niche is something that you probably do once or twice. Yeah, you don't. Do, you're not doing this every week. This is something that you will lead do, magnets. Yeah, though, yeah, lead, lead magnets, but not not like the issues that your client are having. No. That's not something that you're going to do all the time, right? But th this is something that this is something that can be done like all the time, right? So you take this video. So we took this video, put the transcript in. Can you turn this into an email? Wrote out an email, right? Um, we had an offer. Right, for for January for free training, I, I asked it then to rewrite it out, but put a link to a free training that we've got a free training going into more detail of what we've. To, when discussed. you did this this time, because when we used it last week, yeah, it wouldn't remember the conversation before. Yeah, you had to ask yeah. it a completely new question. Yeah, and copy no, and paste. It, well, does it, it now remember? Perfectly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. So I that's made a short. For, uh, I made an Instagram reel, so go and check out my Instagram reel. It's like a chat B G GPT part three video. But then I got the, I, I turned this email, right? So I asked it, can you turn this email into a blog post optimized for SEO? It wrote out a blog post optimized for SEO, right? Which could be used in maybe your free Facebook group, right? I then asked the, asked it to then turn this blog post into a Instagram carousel. Mm. Right. So it wrote out an Instagram carousel, like a five page Instagram carousel. It even told me what type of pictures should go on each slide. Yeah. Right. Which is mental. Right. Then I asked it to turn this, um, this video script into this video transcript into uh, 10 tweets, right. Which could be either posted onto Twitter or put into Canva into your yeah, tweet yeah. template and posted to, um, posted to Instagram. I was literally doing it with my mouth open. I was like, how is this even possible? And that's really useful for you because you're dyslexic as well. So Mate, that's written so perfectly, for, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So, so for, you, when you before were like, I don't do writing. No, I wouldn't have done I can't that. can't do it. No, no, Now 100%. you can sit there and do a video, no. which you can do perfectly yeah, fine. Yeah, there is there is some drawbacks with it. We've tried uploading a transcript for a full YouTube video. So your zero to 5K video, yeah. which is like your highest performing a YouTube video. We've tried transcribing that. It won't work at the minute. I think the language used in it, or it's too big at the minute for the software. That being said, it, it you know it's the I software you come back it will in two do. Weeks, yeah, yeah. But if you've that. got, if you've got, in fact, I'm actually doing this with Killian today. I'll, I'll I'll let you know in the minute this podcast if it if it does work. But uh, Killian sent me his transcript for a lead magnet that he's done like a it's like my fitness pal hacks i think it's like four or five minutes long so i'm going to see if that works but if that works i can put the transcript in email 
a, a blog po a, a post for his free Facebook group. Yeah, you could do multiple emails off the back of that. Yeah, carousels, tweet style uh, posts. There's so much that you can do. It's gonna it's gonna make doing more work a lot easier. So for a, a, a like, because let's be honest, it's going to affect some people's jobs. Oh, right? yeah. For online coaches. Right? Anything like that. Yeah, is on to online coaches, right? People want to work with people. People that uh, AI is not going to replace personal training businesses. It's not. It's, it's that. That's not going to. That's not something that you should be worrying about. Because I have been asked on social media, you know, is this something that we need to be worried about? Absolutely not. This is going to make it easier to ten times x your output. Right. That's the biggest thing that I feel like it's going to change. It's going to make that. It's going to make creating content it's going to make creating resources for your business it's going to create making lead magnets all that type of stuff so much easier so much easier it's an absolute game changer there's never been a thing that like you know like I, i'm like well into my tech or like you know like camera software or editing software and there's always new things coming out right so when i get like a new software or there's been a up, big update with like premiere pro or whatever like oh yeah that's pretty cool that can do now can compared to what it could do five years ago mm. yeah because it, it, it does change i've never i've never like looked at something and just been like in complete awe and that is what it was like when i when i first started using it it's that good well pretty pretty um i think it is i think we'll look back in time do you remember those clips of like people people talking about the internet on like and on, on news that like oh there's this new no. thing the internet and and people are like yeah i don't think when I'll did the use internet it. go live it was like na early 90s I was like, born this in 91. Clip, these clips on the air right i'm older than you we've, we've gathered that this. <laughs> just this, to, yeah, just yeah, to yeah. point that out there. i think we'll be looking back in this old. time like the people that i remember the, like the y2k thing yeah 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 so the people that the, the people and the businesses that adapt this technology rather than the ones that fucking bury the head in the sand thinking no i don't want to be involved in it right the people that adapt it and learn to use it right will benefit massively off the well that's this. like you mentioned when we were chatting before about like the industrial revolution and stuff yeah. like that. that was essentially the industrial revolution wasn't it yeah, it's like yeah. people were worried that it would that we would be reduce replaced, manpower replaced well, which, which it did yeah we did yeah in essence but the scalability of that and the amount of created more production jobs, yeah. yeah created more jobs and obviously then there was management and yeah. things like that so like it is going to be a, a, a scaling thing. Yeah, there's there's going to be a lot of room in the world, like for people that have businesses that maybe harness this. Yeah, hundred percent for sure. 100%. I just think you need a programmer to be honest. Yeah, I think it'll be a lot more management of the software. Yeah, you know that'll be that that'll be something that. Yeah, we're, it's getting you know, a really this, deep yeah. understanding of yeah. it, isn't it, and yeah. how it works. The the uh, the best the best copywriters, yeah will get the most out of AI. So I said this earlier and I'm I'm going to I'm going to say this on record just yeah. so it's out there. Yeah. I think people will end up trademarking their voice, their features, their writing style if that's possible. Yeah. All of these things so that if people do decide to replicate them on ChatGPT, if you're very good at what you do, if you're very good at a certain writing style, say you're an expert copywriter. I think people will trademark their language and the way they write and then I'd, i might be wrong because this might not be doable yeah i yeah. know there's like no rules I, think, yeah, of trademarking, I, I agree with but this i think that people will trademark their license their, their likenesses yeah and they will trademark all of this stuff so they have to be paid a royalty to be able to use it yeah and that will be a, a new way of making money in the yeah. future it's mad it's crazy so crazy like, and we're just at the start of it as well you know like even like it does coding right yeah. people will copyright if they've wrote custom code yeah they will copyright to trademark that mm. piece of code so that every time somebody uses it they have to pay a license fee yeah yeah it's really interesting i think i might be wrong with that because i'm not sure about ip law no um, i don't know how I, I, and again, it, again it's, but, a, it's a new thing but i we do have an ip solicitor yeah um obviously because of the program that we run with all the videos that we put out and the information inside the program is all protected as our ip mm -hmm. um oh, the fucking song in my head we just started going then what is it singer uh, right. you know that one? <laughs> oh, god I'm, I'm i'm not a great singer no we've had him singing on this podcast before it's not you know what song nice. i mean though yeah, yeah to yeah, the girl yeah, i used yeah, to yeah, be yeah yeah, yeah. 
those days are over. Yeah, it sounded like those I days admit, are, you sang oh, it, I could hear it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sound. Um, yeah, but I think I'll get in touch with uh, Babs. Yeah, see what and she see, says. See what the possibilities and legalities are. Yeah, the possibilities are. are endless. I'm going to trademark myself. Yeah. Yeah. Not my likeness, because I don't think anyone would want to use that. No, I don't think so. You want to you want to look like a monk. Just your dealer. brain. Yeah. Just your brain. Well, I, I don't that maybe this is a self-conscious thing. I don't know what what's trademarkable. No, it's that's a rabbit hole. That's for another uh, another that's podcast. A therapy that, session. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's yeah, a, we had what that do last you, time. What do you like enough about yourself? Yeah, to yeah no. <laughs> no and on that note, yeah. we're gonna wrap up this podcast. It's a shorter one today. Um, but it was just to kind of give you a snippet. Into yeah, what we just wanted about. to get you up to date and up to speed, you know, because we want to provide you with the most relevant information so you can implement these things into your business straight away. So we are going to do some videos about this on YouTube. So you may be listening to this on YouTube more than likely. Yeah. If, if it has gone onto Spotify by then, make your way over to the YouTube or make sure yeah, there's, there's a link. We, we, there'll be tutorials on how to use ChatGPT in your fitness business with like script prompts. So we'll, show, we'll be showing you what type of questions to ask uh, the software to get the most out of it. So if you are on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and notify yourself. And if you're on any other platform that does like a follow or a, or a notification or something like that, make sure you do that so we can get those to you when they are available. Thank you very much.